Good morning and welcome to Sport Cars Fun. Today I am talking about the Mercedes um, 2.1 diesel that I currently have as my daily driver. It's basically the, um, it's the what do you call it, the SLK, but it's the SLC or something. Anyway, enough about that. Um, what I'm videoing today, what I wanted to talk about was the performance is very good, but the actual, um, just get past this lorry, the diesel in, it's, um, yeah, so hold on, let me start again, it's 2.1 diesel, um, 201 brake horsepower, about 200, 369 pounds per foot at all, which is pretty bad for a diesel, obviously, um, but what I'm most not happy with is the miles per gallon is supposed to be on paper around 65 on a long run, 45 uh, but uh, it's about 55. Well, I'm only getting 35.7, it says this morning, and that's all been long distance driving 20 miles to work, 20 miles back, daily driver. Why aren't I getting 60 miles plus or even 55? That doesn't make sense to me. I'm not happy. I bought the car, you know, thinking to myself, this is a lovely looking car. It's white, it's convertible, it's got enough performance, all 16 and about 6.7, it's fine, you know, um, and it's brilliant on fuel, but it's not brilliant on fuel. This is my argument, this is what I'm banging on about, and I'm just, I just don't understand it. I mean, if I drive, I'm driving it gently, I'm not even being heavy handed on the hook, right for nothing. Um, heavy handed, I mean, yeah, heavy footed. Um, it's just, you know, I'm just driving, if I drive it sensibly, really sensibly, I mean, when I say that, I mean literally just taking it. It's, it's still only returning 40 miles to the gallon. Now that is definitely not right. If it says 65, why am I only getting 40? And the other thing is, if I drive it like now, I'm still driving normally, it's 35, it hasn't changed 35.7, I'm going to reset that. Right, I'm going to reset that, and we'll see. I can guarantee, right, it says 22.2 now, obviously. I'm driving it quite normally, it's nothing like that. Very, very strange. Right, so now I've put it in cruise control, I'm in seventh gear, I'm stuck behind a lorry and I'm doing well, I'm, I'm doing 56 miles an hour and it's registering 60.1. Now that is the first time I've ever seen it that high. Now I know that's obviously hasn't it's just started to register it. But at the moment I put my foot, obviously it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, but that's not the point. The point is, I've drove to work yesterday about it's 40 miles there and back, and whatever, even the day before the same thing, 40 miles, and it's still come out at 35.7. And that, you know, it's, it's a steady run. I'm not in traffic. I'm not, I'm stopping about three or four or five times maybe, but traffic lights when I get near Hastings town. So basically I'm going to floor it in a minute overtake because this lorry is annoying me and it's like going under the speed limit, it's doing 45, actually no it's not, it's doing 55. If I, oh, there's a coach coming the other way, a bus actually with two cars overtaking, now I can't get past. Can I? It's now saying 47 now, just because I overtook that lorry. I know for a fact that, judging by the amount of fuel that I'm having to put in, it definitely is what it says, 35.7. I reckon it's about 40, but it's not 65. No way. Absolutely no way. It's saying 47 now. Uh, I 
I shall see when I get to work and um, actually when I get home tonight so that will be yeah, 40 miles so I'll see what it says but I don't know if it will drop it does get a bit towny with a few lights but it's not like just sitting in traffic on tick over for ages anyway it's got eco on this so it cuts out when you stop and start stop and start so I've okay, to some lights, it's gone back up to 50. This is very interesting because I've not seen this do this before. Never. <clears throat> I mean, this is the um, 14 plate, it's about 90, 93,000. I've done 3,000 miles on it. I've only had it. For, I don't know how many months I've had it now. I bought it in is it July. Anyway. I've got my XKRS as you've seen on the video, so that is that's something else. I mean that is actually more economical my, than my XF I had. The XF was working out at about 12 to 14 miles per gallon, that was dreadful. The actual new one, which is the 5 litre, not the 4.2, that's actually more economical. I mean that's that's doing about 20. I'm really pleased with that, but I'm not using it as a daily obviously I'm only taking it out special occasions. Definitely going to be taking some car rallies next summer. So yeah, I've just had that quick silver exhaust put on. Absolutely fantastic. It sounds gorgeous. And um, just had four new Michelin um, Pilots 4S's put on. That was expensive, but I'll tell you why, it does not make a difference to the handling. I mean, uh, when I um, put away, it don't get it's, it's not snaking nearly as much as it was. It was it was dangerous. It was one tire was pretty much on its limit. Well, no, it wasn't actually. It was two and a half mil. The other one was five. The other, they're all Pirelli P zeros all the way round. Um, but yeah, these Michelin's definitely softer tires. Definitely more grip. Yeah, it's, and it's colder now. I mean, what we went out the other night and it was about eight degrees roads were cold but it, it held really well you know definitely not snaking as much absolutely no way so that's good because it, it can be a bit tail happy especially on the roundabout you don't want to pull away on a roundabout god lose it right we have now still got 47 miles to the gallon i'm going to end this video now good morning mr policeman he's going back to the depot probably for his breakfast where I'm going to my residence to cook breakfast. Now I'm stuck behind someone even slower. We're doing that 30 miles an hour. Well, in a 50 zone, okay. I've actually been looking at some electric cars lately because I know that in the future it's all going to be electric. I'm telling my son Oliver, who's only 10, who loves cars, um, that he's going to have to grow up and be learning in an electric car, I don't know, it'll be what, another seven, eight years time. So I was just looking at the prices now, I mean, you're looking for a Tesla 40 grand for a cheap one. I don't know, I don't, I, if I'm going to get an electric car, it's got to be something high performance, absolutely, 100%, I don't want one of these slow things. And uh, I love that Porsche, is it the Taken, I can't remember, that is just something else. <laughs> But I don't know how people are going to afford electric cars when they're so expensive. I mean, Christ, it's going to be... The, the government are going to have to do something to help out, surely. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now, as I said earlier. It's now gone up to 51.3. That's pretty because I'm stuck behind some idiot doing 30 miles an hour and a 50. But now we've dropped. Actually, we're in a 30 now, so I'll let him off. Right. Okay, thanks for watching. And... Uh, let me know on any comments you want about this smart if anyone's got any idea of why it's so bad on the um, fuel consumption there, because I don't understand it. All, all the books, even in the other Mercedes, with this same engine, um, I don't know which ones they are, the, the, I think it's the E-Class, e that's got the same 2.1 diesel engine, but actually it's got slightly less brake horsepower, about 177. This is 201, so I don't know if it's something to do with that or not, but all I know is I'm not getting what it says on the paper. No matter how gently I drive it, I will not get 65. I'm getting 50 now, which is...
which is fair enough. I'm, I'm happy with that, but I'm going to see if that changes because that's from reset. If I go on to, I was going to end this video there. Uh, from start, 39.7 from reset, full time. Oh, that's not too bad. Right, I'm going to look and see what happens later. If uh, if I'm happy, then I'm not going to come back to another boring old video. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.